So for this one, I'll use the UFO mannequin. And you'll note that there's some green points over here. So this is the auto posing uh, feature that I have. So which means is that should I move any uh, any limb on this character, his body will automatically pose into the correct position. So just as a quick example, it'll fall into like a realistic example of what the other body would be in if I've been a character uh, in, in that way. Um, then the important part as well is this tab up here. So they've got different modes. So this is just view mode. So as if all the dots gone, this is the auto posing. And then this one is the more uh, manual way of uh, editing or, or animating. Um, so to click a joint, you just click once and you'll see it moves. And then to click the whole hand, you just double click and it gets all the joints there um, and the whole hand moves. And you can keep doing that by clicking on different, different double click on different points. So it'll just make animating a lot uh, easier as well. You can also highlight like that. Um, but for complete newcomers, I definitely suggest using the auto posing. And what I like to do is I like to take this main uh, direction controller on the chest. I like to actually remove that. And you do that by pressing Shift Z. So now you'll see when we move it, um, it won't move the whole body uh, to that direction. Uh, it just move uh, move on his on his feet. If I could put it like that. Um, so that's the one I like to do. And if you want to activate it again, you just press it, Shift Z again, Shift Z, and it's back on again. So you will use Shift Z a lot, uh, in my experience at least. What I also like to do is, if I do a mess. Uh, mess it up a bit and I see something doesn't look right for example let's just pull it to here so you see this doesn't look right at all what I like to do is I just like to highlight shift Z uh, and put auto posing on again um, so you can do this uh, with any weird poses let's make it like that put on auto posing and you can just move it slightly and the body will try and take the most realistic pose it can so we've got that, we've got our box controllers, so if you want to move specific sections on the body, um, you can do that as well with the box controllers. So the your most important keys to learn as well is going to be your W and E shortcut keys. So we've got W, that's to move, and you've got E, which is to rotate. So I'll be using that a lot. Uh, we also have R, um, that is to lock so you lock certain joints so that doesn't move. So I locked that elbow, so you'll see that elbow stays in place. And then just press R again to unlock it. Then we've got your um, joints or the skeleton, um, which I rarely use. I really just use it to see uh, if I can see if my animations that I import will match the skeleton. And I've got the mesh function, this one mesh, and then uh, the rigging one, which we'll show next. So here's a character. We're quickly going to do a basic animation. So this is our first keyframe. So our, we can only edit on our keyframe. As you will see here, it stays in place. Now, if I want to edit on here without putting a keyframe, you'll see it just goes back. So we have to create a keyframe. So um, you've probably heard this before, 60 frames per second or 30 frames per second. It's the same kind of deal here. So you can change it for example you're on the gear uh, currently it's on 30 frames per second you can place it on 60 depending on what you want but we'll just leave it at 30. Um, so in this case so um, we're doing 30 frames per second so our whole second movement will be on 30 um, and then i want to move the hand let's say up and then at 60 i want to move the hand to the left uh, and we can just let that run so you'll see when i run through it it will change like that, so it's very um, j uh, j uh, jagged or jittery, if I put it like that. And what Casca has got um, is um, they've got the AI that fills in the gaps in the keyframes. Um, so then we can select, which I like is the Bezier one, and we'll fill that. And you'll see that it just smoothly 
puts in those keyframes or it smoothly fills that those frames so then we have an animation of that so nothing special nothing great but uh, it's a starting point and again just to point out you need to create your keyframes if you want to uh, edit movement or, or animate um, a shortcut to remove a keyframe is alt f and that is that